Hey guys, um, uh, yeah, um, I'm not feeling brilliantly at the moment, and I, I know when I feel like I've got a massive cold, and I know when I feel like this is going to get worse. So I'm probably not going to be able to do a video for tomorrow. So I thought I'd combine today's video and tomorrow's deck guide video together, um, just to give you a sort of an update of the decks I've been testing out on, on the test server for the upcoming update, whenever that is. Uh, so I've got four, I've got uh, Mono Energy, Mono Growth-ish, uh, Mono Order and Decay. Um, I've really been testing out Energy so far. Growth I've done a bit of, Order done a bit of, Decay I haven't really touched all too much, so that's pretty much next on my list. Let me start off with Energy. Uh, so far I am loving it. Uh, I am positive against Growth, but it's not including Playmate AI, it's against people like Tin Fox and uh, Tower Rog and other people in the Badger Guild. Good players. And the energy is so far coming out on top. Uh, let me just do it by resource. There we go. So at the moment it's got three potion of resistance, three gun automaton, three automated forge, three bombard, a couple of furies, three health bitter mortars, three divinators, three scout automatons, three burn, three clock library, three ether pump, three sodom giant, three gravelock elder, three machine chant, three cannon automaton, three thunder surgeon, three violent dispersal. Uh, so the main premise of this deck is to take advantage of the two new scrolls in Machine Divinator and Machine Chant. Uh, Machine Divinator is not one four for three. It doesn't attack when it uh, when it's in play. Its structure's in health is increased by one, and its countdown becomes naught. So random structure you control countdown one or more has its countdown decreased by one. Uh, so to take advantage of that, we have twelve structures: We've got the mortar, uh, the pump, the library, and the forge. All of them uh, have quite a bit of an impact. Mortar's got a lot of health and it can do a lot of damage, especially when it's attacking each turn, which sometimes it can do with Divinator. Forge, producing lots of automatons, can be very deadly. I think it's known as being a very good scroll. Uh, Clock Library to draw me a lot of scrolls. Divinator really, really helps in making library very viable. Uh, and then we've got Pump, which I can get to go off every turn with a couple of Divinators, which is really, really good against growth. And a few other things as well. Uh, but yeah, and also the health boost. All of them got a lot of health, 5, 5, 5 and 6. Uh, so they make excellent walls. And then we've got Machine Chant, uh, which so far is proving to be rather decent. Uh, the damage bit is okay. Um, early game it's not as good. Uh, late game, you got you can usually have about 3 or 4 structures out. It really helps, especially in combination with Ether Pump, making you usually finish off the rest of the damage. But it's the resource ramp that's really effective. If it was cheaper, it would be ridiculous. Just for, because of the ramp it offers. Uh, so the cost is fine. I think the damage is fine. I, I'm i starting to be on the side of that. This doesn't really need changing. Uh, and then with all the autom automatons that we're producing, I've added Scout Automaton. Uh, it's got range attack, armor 1, and all other automatons you control get plus 1 attack. So a couple of these and uh, Solemn Giant, which is an automaton. If anyone would think it, uh, we'll have 10 attack and be able to take out an idol. Of it'll work well with. Uh, cannon automaton giving it six attacks so it can kill generals, night scholars, uh, big things like that. And then all the gun automatons we produce, oh, excuse me, uh, their attack's going to get huge as well, which is nice. And then countdown reduction, uh, got a couple of furies and three bombards. This could change your way around. Uh, but at the moment, fury is good in this sort of deck because we've got a lot of structures and we want to be able to count down them. And bombards in the deck to offer. Uh, more damage for the, the creatures because so far in testing they haven't done all too much damage in the early game it's really just been trying to set up things with the structures to get going and bombard will help us gain control with all our big hitters here and the rest of it is sort of a normal thing, potion resistance to uh, mainly against growth because it gets annoying so there you go then uh, mono energy, let's now move on to growth uh, now this is proven interesting so far. You've noticed no Rat King, let me just go through it. Uh, a couple of Focus, three Pother, where the Order Splash. Uh, three Ragged Wolves, three Crimson Bulls, three Frost Gales, three Braves, three Sisters of a Fox, one Untainted, three Breakers, two Ancestral Totems, three Brother of a Wolf, three First Hustles, three Mangy Wolves, three Great Wolves, three Veterans, three Rallyings and three Quakes. So the only new scrolls are Breaker, which is newish, and Untainted, which is very new. Uh, so the order splash is usually consists of five scrolls. I've gone for three pollen and two focus. It could of course be uh, transposition instead or purification. 
maybe even Aged Knight if you're feeling ambitious to it with God Hand to drop that and play stuff. Uh, but I'm going with this at the moment, maybe even Horn of, Horn of Ages, but Focus offers me more damage, which I like. Uh, and I've got Frost Galen as well, which is a not the most common source of scroll, but uh, against energy it's pretty good. And also the extra damage, it's just a mini, mini Quake, which I like. Uh, there's no Rat King in this deck, because uh, I really think that energy and ether pumps are going to be a thing. And Frost Scales are probably going to be a thing as well, so there's going to be too weak for what we want. We're going to want a lot of health, and that's what Breaker is in for. And I only like to run two Ancestral Totems, because I think three is too much. Uh, I don't want to draw too many. So we've got two of them, and to fill in the gap I've got Untainted. Uh, that could be a Sister Vial, Noke Blood, Fierce Tactics, uh, Unleashing the Power maybe, Dryadic Power, but I've gone with Untainted just to offer me a bit more defence. And yeah, if you fancy going down the sort of more hard-hitting route, uh, I could take out something like Great Wolf, the Sister of the Owl. Uh, that would take out Mangy Wolf, which is pretty weak for something like Sister of the Bear. That sort of thing, maybe even get rid of the Wolf of Berserker. Uh, so you can mess around a bit, but at the moment I'm favouring the Wolf version. Uh, it seems to have more punch. Uh, and then we move on to Order. Uh, and it's looking like this. Three Blessing of Haste, three Focus, three Pover, three Ducal Infantryman, three Kabonk, three Wing Soldier, three Mangonels, three Royal Skirmishers, three Speeds, a couple of Tempo Thefts, three Wing Shields, three Ducal Skirmishers, three Pushbacks, three Wings Captains, uh, three Vanguards, three Generals, and three Imperial Resources. Uh, it's the usual type of thing. I'm not running Summons anymore. There's no space, even though I like it. Uh, only two Tempo Thefts. I think eight sort of... Um, Countdown spells are enough. And also Tempo Theft is probably the worst at all because you actually need a target on the board. Uh, but it can have some good combinations with things. Uh, we've got both Wing Soldier and Duke and Infantryman. Both are soldiers, so they work well with Wings Captain. And also they get a, try and increase your chance of getting a 2 drop out so uh, Wing Shield will come in with armour is useful. No Night Scholar because I don't like it. And I like to be aggressive. Uh, that's pretty much it really. It's uh, still needs a bit of work, I think. Uh, I'll just show you what some of the new stuff is. Uh, so things like Mystic Altar, which I've been working on, they work quite well with Tempo Theft, because Mystic Altar's countdown doesn't increase when you increase something else. It's countdown, so that's quite nice. So you could use its effect when Tempo Theft it with something with a general, say. That would work nicely. Uh, we got Mystic Royal Banner, which I haven't really looked at. Uh, I think that'll be a good thing to look at. Uh, it does die quite easily, uh, but its effect is a bit late, but it could be pretty good, so that's worth looking at. I don't think Refined Strategy is going to do anything. Fleetness is another thing. I think there'll be like a more aggressive tempo order, I think they're calling it, like the sort of deck, uh, where like Winged Captain is like the highest cost creature and have lots of little creatures. That works quite well. Aging Knight is okay, it's a bit, a bit slow uh, later on, so I don't want that in this sort of deck. And Caller's Blame is a bit iffy. But other than that, uh, this is my mono order deck, and then I'll show you Decay, something which I've hardly touched at all. Uh, three Languid, three Lord Darkling, three Masmerwell, three Viserys Sage. Uh, that should be a third Watcher, hang on. Uh, should be something like this, maybe. Uh, three Watchers, three Brain Lies, three Harvesters, three Rot Eaters, three Soul Steals, three Curse Mongers, three Damning Curse, three Hunters, two Infectious Blights, three Life Sealers. Uh, three Oblivion Seekers, three Witch Doxers, and three Necrogeddon. Um, hasn't changed too much from the deck which I played in the ESL tournaments, apart from included Watcher uh, in place of Draining Mist and to kind of fetch his Blights, because Watcher is insane. You can do so much damage with it, especially with Necrogeddon. And in terms of a new scrolls, there isn't really too much to add. Um, Ripper is nice, but it just doesn't do anything. Beetle Stone's okay, but uh, it's just too slow. Uh, Fungify, a lot of health, but the downside's too much. Chargeman's too slow. Ticking Fumes is okay, but I don't think it has a place in this sort of deck. Uneasy Alliance, I've tested out a bit. And it's been okay, but it's a bit hard at the moment to get to work. You can do a lot of attack with it, so that's quite nice. Scryer, uh, no sound way really in Decay other than Fungify to use its effect, and even when you do, it doesn't really do too much. Uh, Monstrosity is, is pretty bad. Uh, I haven't tested Unforeseen 
I'll slot it in some sort of rap deck, so maybe I can try that out, but I don't really see it being all too powerful. Then you got Iron Bile and Bloodline Taints, which are just pretty pretty iffy. Uh, then Monstrous Brood and pe pest, uh, pest Dissimulator are pretty bad also. So this one looking at is going to be there's going to be a lot of Curse and Poison, I think, uh, when things get updated, so maybe I need to add a bit more of that, but for now, I'm testing out this. And it's been okay ish. As I said, Watch is amazing, especially with Necrogeddon. So there you go. Um, sorry that's all I could produce for you today, but uh, as I said, I'm not too brilliant. Um, however, I'm sure I'll be able to make up for it in other ways by doing some more testing. Um, so yeah, I will see you uh, when I'm a bit better. So bye.